What's up everyone? Yankee Cowboy back for another video. You guys have been hitting me up in the comments for the Victos Johnny Combat Boots and you guys want an update on how they're holding up. So, full disclosure guys, these aren't staged or anything. These boots have been beat the hell out of for almost about a year now. But here's the boots and we're going to talk about how they've been holding up. First off, I want to say when I first got those boots and tried them on, it was a little tight in the toes, so I contacted Victos, and they said that shouldn't be. They were working with another distributor, so they sent me out another pair. They said keep those for the inconvenience, which was pretty awesome. So kudos to Victos for that. They sent out a second pair, so I said, all right, I got two pairs now. I'm going to hammer the hell out of these. So as you guys may or may not know, we put in a built-in pool here last year, so the yard's torn up, which it's still pretty much a mess, but that's a whole other video. We took down trees. We have prickers, briars. Uh, we had a huge rainstorm. We had mud back there, rocks. I mean, it's been a nightmare. And these boots have been in and out of heavy equipment. I've been running a bobcat, backhoe, beating the hell out of them, taking them to the range, hunting, all the yard work. I mean, believe me, guys, I put these things through their paces, more so than I think the average guy is going to do. And they held up pretty good. Uh, there is an issue with the left one. We have some delamination in the crack, and the back has a chip taken off it. But that may or may not be to the fact the last time I got these muddy which was about maybe a few weeks ago I left them out back on the porch and it's pretty cold right now it's winter so I'm thinking the temperature might have something to do with it and cause them to crack I don't know but at any rate one of them did uh, suffer a little bit of a crack in delamination but other than that the shell of the, of the boot was fantastic it held up good I think the construction of them otherwise is, is, is pretty good but let's just uh, let's take a look at it this one here is the left boot this one that I think took the most damage out of, out of them all. This one here, we got a little bit of a little bit of a crack and a little bit of a crack in DLAM right there. It's not a huge crack, it's not a big deal. The back is where it took the, the brunt of it. Right there. It chipped off. But that could have been getting in out of the bobcat or get my foot jammed in between trees or, or whatever branches when we had that big pile in the wood chipper out back. What I do like about these is these laces on here are Kevlar. And through all the briars and crap that I was walking through in the summer times when we took the trees down, and I was going through some pretty heavy brush with these. These are Kevlar, and they held up fantastic. And the ends of these are metal. Let's take a look at the ends of these. They're uh, real nice, the ends here, the metal on them. They got some nice weight to them, and it caused the, the ends of these laces not to fray. When you beat the hell out of work boots, and that little plastic crap chips off, the lace tends to fall apart. But again, these are Kevlar, and with these metal ends on it, <coughs> excuse me, they held up fantastic. Now let's check out the construction of them. As far as the construction goes, there's almost like a rubber type material on top. This has been fantastic. There's no issues. Everything's double stitched. This ballistic nylon on the sides held up great. And these boots are water resistant. They're not waterproof, but I've been in some serious mud and water with these. You can feel it on your foot, but it didn't enter the boot unless you got up high on this, uh, on, this, on this material here, on the ballistic nylon, and then it would seep in just a very little bit, but I would consider these almost waterproof. You had to be in some serious water for a little bit of time for your foot to experience some moisture inside. Soles on them are fantastic. On the inside, the inner soles, they removed, they were comfortable. The bottom soles on these I think held up pretty darn good. Now, this is almost a year. I did a lot of walking on the streets with these, a lot of walking in the woods with these, a lot of the backyard, and the soles got a lot of life. The one thing I will say about the soles on these is they're, they're good in muddy applications and off-road, stuff of that nature, but anything with a hard surface and water, you're going on your ass with these boots. I'll say that much. That's my only downfall on this whole boot. The crack aside on the back and a little bit of delamination on this left boot, I can live with but when you go into some place, a lot of these places I go in, they have tile floors. I go in a lot of kitchens and restaurants. And if there's water on the floor, you're, you're going down. So that part is, is no, but these boots weren't made for that. These are made for, you know, being in the woods, hiking, that type of stuff. The backside with the zipper, the zipper held up fantastic. I typically ran this with the zipper down anyhow, just because I like the flexibility. If I wanted some serious support, then I would zipper them up, and, and that was fine in that aspect. So, I mean, overall, for the shit that these went through, I think they held up fantastic. Now, here's the, here's the right one. The right one has no, no delamination, no cracks. The right one held up pretty darn good. The laces on the right one are fantastic. You know, 
the, the metal ends are in good condition. These held up fine. The eyelids on them are fine. All the double stitching is fine. The ballistic nylon held up fantastic. Soles again, I think the soles on these held up wonderful. I mean, there's a ton of life left on these, and these were walked on every day for almost a year. So, I mean, pretty good. Like I said, leaving them outside in that cold temperature after I got the last muddy bit I had that may have helped on the crack, I'm not sure. But other than that, I think they're great. I, I would definitely buy them again, no, no question about it. So these are holding up okay. I think they did all right for what I put them through. The second pair I just broke out last week, started wearing those. So I'm wearing those casually into the range. So we'll do a follow-up on that. I'm, I'm assuming those are going to last and be okay because I'm not going to run them like I did these. I'll keep these for the knock-around beat on boots and uh, we'll see how far I can push them before they completely fall apart. All right, guys, any questions or comments on the Victos Johnny Combat boots? Leave them down below. Love to hear from you. Slap a like on the video. Helps me out. If this video was entertaining or you liked it, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I make new content and we'll see you guys on the next one.